Hello everybody, and welcome back to Anacon Animal Complex. So, I have bought the game. Uh, currently, like I, uh, I, I, I think I said this last time, but there is currently the cat path, the sheep path, and the rabbit path is scheduled for a release sometime for 2020 here. So we have two routes I can play through, and I'm going to continue to play through the cat routes. We are at the start of October. It, the game only, it only costs like a couple bucks. It was on sale too. I'll go ahead and just shout out. So, actually, one thing I did discover is that the company who makes this, uh, Zeva, Zeva Inc., I think it is, they've actually been making visual novels since, like, back in the days of, like, uh, Newgrounds, Newgrounds games. And I actually recognized some of their older stuff, so I was actually kind of really surprised. And I just want to go ahead and shout them out for that, because that, that's really cool for me to see people from that I recognize from back back in those days making stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and read more of this wonderful little adventure. The adventure of the D Circus. Thump. Thump, thump, thump. Who's getting beat up right off the bat? Sweat. I can't concentrate. Who's making all that noise? Oh, it's him. Mr. Elephant, what are you doing? Greetings, my lady. I'm in the middle of building a pumpkin carriage. Pumpkin carriage? Oh, that's right. Today is the last day of October. Indeed, there will be a Halloween party tonight. However, this carriage is for something else entirely. Oh yeah, they were doing the Cinderella thing, weren't they? Speaking of Halloween, are you ready for a trick or treat, my lady? I'd rather have treat and treat. They do say great minds think alike. Yeah, this guy is such a kiss ass. Today is a wonderful day for those who pursue the, pass, the path of gourmet. Of course. Food is life. Indeed. Food is love. <laughs> of course. Anyways, the snail whoosh is in. Someone, go stop them. Leaving two, two food fanatics alone like that. What could possibly go wrong? My apologies, my lady. I would love to continue, but I still have to work, but still have work to do. Please look forward to the party tonight. You know, I'm still curious what the rest of these characters look like in their uh, human forms. So far, we've only seen the owl, the sheep, cat, of course, and oh yeah, the bunny. We saw the we saw a bunny last time, rabbit. I've done it again. Mr. Elephant sure shares my passion for food. When it comes down to it, we always end up staring at each other with glimmers in our eyes. Halloween, huh? I can't wait. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. I almost kind of want there to be an elephant route for the memes. And uh, currently my... Let's go to the boys' room. Currently my puzzles are a bit different because when I bought the game, I had to replay it. It was easy to just skip through, but my puzzle pieces ended up different from these sections. So, you know. Examine the area. Let's sweep. You found a puzzle piece. Talk to Rabbit. Good morning, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, it's you, Bunny. Huh? Why are there so many papers here? These are my writings, Bunny. Oh, really? Let's see. The Kitchen Murder. Genetic Glow. Cinderella. You have many weird titles, Mr. Rabbit. Interesting, isn't it, Bunny? I'm currently working on the script for a special performance, Bunny. I'm a bit stuck, so I thought I could get some ideas by reading my older works, Bunny. But as you can see, they are so messy. Do you need help organizing? Whoosh, the snail comes back in. Oh, sorry. I'm in a hurry. Did I mess things up? These are Mr. Rabbit's writings. Oh, then all is well. You can toss them in the garbage bin. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I'll help you organize them. I'll... Kleena is so precious. She's just trying her best at everything. Don't worry, Bunny. An excellent inspiration has just dawned on me, Bunny. My next work is going to feature a salt-loving heroine, Bunny. So that she can melt all those pesky snails, Bunny. Do your worst, hairball. It seems that today is going to be anything but peaceful. Um... I guess I did everything there. Let's go to the main room. Examine the area. Let's sweep. Alright, talk to Pig. Good morning, Mr. Pig. Oh, what do you want again? Hey, have you seen Big Bro? Mr. Owl? 
No, I haven't seen him anywhere today. By the way, where are you? What are you doing, Mr. Snail? I'm seeing you everywhere. Well, I'm running errands for Big Bro. Is it for the Halloween party? Well, there's that too. Mom told us to dress up for today. Really? That sounds like fun. How about you, Mr. Pig? Who are you going to dress up as? Groovy! The Groovy Pig returns. Right. Why did I even ask? It doesn't matter who. If it's Mr. Pig, it's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, my throat's getting a little dry right off the bat. I was recording some other stuff before this. I don't think I've ever tried going shopping yet. Oh, it's the cutie pie. Die came this morning and brought lots of stuff. Or bought lots of stuff. Well, we are having a Halloween party tonight. I guess that explains the stuff he bought. Spooky. What did Die purchase? I'm a little scared to ask. End of free time. All right, what happens next? As the sky turns dark. Now there's Delos. No one's corrected me with the owl's name, so I'm gonna keep saying Delos. Anyways, all right, everyone. You may report your progress. The pumpkin carriage is progressing very well. Unfortunately, I'm still missing some materials. No worries. I've ordered them for you. They should come in a few days. Much obliged. Good. How about you, Din? The plan cannot start without your script. Worry not. I'm almost there. Just need a little more time to finalize the cast. It's Cinderella! Everybody can just copy and paste that today. Or er, copy and paste that in a day. For a little production. That ain't hard, bro. Good! Haha, <laughs> nice! Everything's going according to plan, yeah? Now all that's left is, though, is to tell those two... Huh? What's everyone doing here? Is the Halloween party starting? Oh no! Did they overhear us, Bunny? Dude, it's stupid to hide it in the first place. Dummy! It's no fun without surprises, Bunny. Which is why it's stupid. It doesn't matter. Mom intends to let them know tonight. For now, just sit back and relax. Sit back. Relax. How could we? This is a Halloween party. Yet here we are, missing the most important part of the event. Tonight's dinner. Right, it ain't Halloween without any treats. What are you talking about, Bunny? Halloween is all about tricks, Bunny. Putting the asinine banters aside... N uh, Navid, I, I don't think, know if anyone corrected me on this. Uh, is it Navid? There's no way it's Navid, like David. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying Navid. Navid's right. Where's Di? I haven't seen him all day. When it comes to him, it has to be the kitchen. Let's make haste. The thing I also realize is with Kid and Cat, I think they're supposed it's supposed to be a joke about Kit Cat, but instead they're Kid and Cad. I don't know. I think that's what they're going for. Huh? No one's here. Where could he have gone to? Thump. No, 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 no way. This can't be happening. Mr. Rabbit? What's wrong? Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Mr. Sheep! What happened to you? No, he's not waking up! He must have spilled tomato juice all over himself. Thanks to me right now. Cat! He- oh, he fell over. No, Mr. Cat! Not you too! This... This is just like that story. The kitchen murder. Wait, wait a second. I heard that before. Isn't that the story you wrote, Mr. Rabbit? All right, sorry for the interruption there, but um, my mom just showed up at my apartment with um, a bunch of baked cookies. She, she made a big batch of uh, cookies for both me and my brother. And uh, anyways, uh, back to the murder moment here. Don't let that distract you all. Isn't that the story you wrote, Mr. Rabbit? That's right. It's about a cook who was found murdered in his own kitchen. He drowned in his own pool of blood. No murder weapon was found. If you have enough, if you bled enough, that you could drown in your own blood? Doesn't that, doesn't that, I think, I don't think drowning was the cause of death there. 
A case so bizarre it baffled even the most experienced police. That story. I was the one who wrote it. Don't tell me you finally lost it and decide to reenact your own story. What? No way. When it comes to die, isn't Naveed more suspicious? Those two always fight over food. Maybe he accidentally did it when he tried to steal the food. I am innocent. A gentleman like me would not harm a fly. Moreover, I was working on the pumpkin carriage since this morning. I have yet set I have yet set foot in this sacred land all day. G G Gior Giordano can vouch for, vouch for me. Who was that again? Oh, right, the snail. Who else could have done it to them? Done done it then. I'm not sure if this is going to help or anything, but I heard Mr. Sheep bought lots of spooky stuff from town. Don't tell me he did it himself. It's not uncom It's not an uncommon scenario in murder cases. Cough. Everyone, let's not jump to any more conclusions. Dai is still alive. He is merely unconscious. Please direct your attention to the table next to him. That is... <gasps> Tomatoes! Oh, who would have thought it wasn't actually a murder? Don't tell me these red stuff... Th these red stuff are... Tomatoes? I can't believe I got tricked by Elementary det Detective 101. I know it's Halloween, but still. Ha! <laughs> Ain't that a good thing? All's well that ends well, yeah? Ugh. Mr. Sheep! Are you alright? My head hurts. Dude, you should have been more careful. How did you end up drowning yourself in a, sh in a sea of ketchup? It was all thanks to you. Huh? I was busy cutting tomatoes to make blood red soup for tonight's Halloween. When you suddenly came out of nowhere and ran over me. Uh, I, I, I did? Oh, you don't mean... That one time I accidentally barged into the kitchen in the middle of my errands? So it was you! And thus, the long-awaited Halloween party ends with us spending the night cleaning the kitchen. Well, at least the sheep's okay. That's all that matters. Oh, well. I was looking forward to tonight's dinner. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Cheer up, Mr. Elephant. But... Aw. Oh. Mr. Cat, are you okay? You fainted out of the blue. I can't stand blood. Me neither. I'm just glad nothing serious actually happened. I guess it did damage in a totally different way. Oh, that's not so good. So are you guys done with the party? Hmm? What happened? Why do you all look so exhausted? Well, stuff happens. Oh, right. I thought I told you all to dress up for Halloween. Uh, I almost forgot. I'll go get everyone ready. Oh, I've been waiting for this. What are we dressing up as? It's Din's favorite series called Genetic Glow. Since it's him, it's probably hella cliche or something like that. Come. Yours is over here. Halloween costumes? Dot, 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 dot. Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? Y yes, Mom. Aw, oh, it's precious. Alrighty. Huh? W w w wait a second. What, what are you doing? Why are you carrying me? It's called the Princess Carry. I've always wanted to do this once. Huh? I'm the princess! Come on, Mr. Cat. Look at the camera. G gr groovy. <laughs> the pig just says groovy. Can I just hide this for a second? Look at the pig down there! Look at that little salute of his. Why'd the elephant suddenly get gigantic? I mean, I know he's an elephant, but I thought everyone just kind of had, you know... I mean, I mean, yeah, if the elephant's that huge, why is the snail that huge as well? You know what I mean? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters at all. Groovy. Blush. Say cheese. Oh, there's one for the scrap album. So precious and wholesome. Achievement? I got an achievement? This game has achievements? All right, well, I guess I'm platinum. Gonna pull a platinum on it, as they say. Does anyone ever even care about achievements in, in this day and age? I almost just said 2019, but I caught myself. <laughs> I caught myself. I almost made my first incorrect date. 
The January mistake. You, what a long day. So many things happened, but I had a lot of fun. I'm sorry. I have no self-control. I made you transform again. It's fine. As long as you enjoyed it. Blush. Aww. Cad, Kleena. That funky looking hat. Could it be? Mr. Owl. What's wrong, big brother? Now that the party has ended, it's time for serious business. Mom is waiting. Follow me. Oh boy. What does mommy want this time? I have brought Cad and Kleena with me. Good, good. Um, um, did I do something wrong? You have been with us for quite some time, my dear daughter-in-law. The time has come for us to step your game up. Pardon? There will be a special performance next year. The theme is Cinderella. The two of you will be playing the main roles. You as Cinderella and Cad as Prince Charming. N n no way! You're kidding, right? The play is very important, so I expect a stellar performance from the two of you. B but Mom! What about my problem? What if I transform in the middle of the performance? You will be performing as a human character. You have nothing to worry about. B but performing on the stage, what if I mess up? You are no longer a child, Cad. That is something you have to overcome on your own. Don't disappoint me. I... I don't think I can do this. That is why the two of you are going to practice from now on. Practice makes perfect. But how about you, Kleena? Do you think you can do it? Huh? I don't know. I have no experience at all. But I'll do it. Now oh, she's trying her best look at her. I shall do my best. Everyone has been so nice to me. I want to return a little of that favor. Besides, I'm not alone. Cat is with me. I'm sure we can do it. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you will do well. All right, the day that was supposed to be quiet turns out to be the day where my heart beats the loudest. The wonderful excitement of what's to come. I'm looking forward to it. Oh boy. Now more than ever. Now more than ever what? Anacon Animal Complex! Hmm. There was a girl named Cinderella who grew up ill-treated by her evil stepmother and two evil stepsisters. One day the king, with the advice of the Grand Duke, decided to throw a grand ball for Prince Charming to choose his bride. Cinderella wanted to go, but her two evil stepsisters sabotaged her plan by destroying her only dress. Just when she was about to give up, her fairy godmother appeared and granted her wish to attend the ball. Her clothing turned into a beautiful gown with glass slippers, and the garden pumpkin into a carriage, complete with two mice and a horse. Before leaving, the fairy godmother warned her to leave the ball before midnight, as the magic could only last until then. As the ball, or at the ball, Prince Charming declined every girl until he saw Cinderella. The two instantly fell in love and danced long into the night. However, as the clock struck midnight, Cinderella ran away, leaving behind one of her glass slippers, which became the only clue to find her. Under the advice of Grand Duke, Prince Charming had every maiden in the kingdom try on this slipper to see if it would fit. The two evil step stepsisters could not fit the slip slipper. At last, Cinderella could, and thus Prince Charming married her, and the two lived happily ever after. Such a beautiful story. Really? It's just a fairy tale. But it's so dreamy and magical. I can't wait to perform. I don't get it. This is your first performance. How can you be so excited? Where does your confidence come from? Confidence? I have none. Then why? Well, my parents passed away when I was young. Life is short. That's why you have to live your life to the fullest. I don't want to miss out on any opportunities that come my way. That's what I believe. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't worry. I'm currently living my life to the fullest. I'm really blessed. You know, being held here against your will and all. Speaking of which, I've been here for a while, but I've never seen your father. 
Don't tell me he... Oh, don't worry. He's still alive and kicking. Uh, then why isn't he here? Don't tell me he... It's not what you think. Don't worry about it. Is this another one of those things I shouldn't have asked? Calling it now, he's the monkey. They didn't... The monkey isn't one of the brothers? It has to be the monkey, I'm telling you. What else could it be? It can't be broccoli, man. Phew. I guess it's time to clean. We're or working hard. Mr. Snail, how are you doing? Chilling. I made a bet with Din when we played Mahjong yesterday and he lost. Now he has to do the errands instead of me. That's why I'm so free right now. Don't sweat it. That nerd needs to get out of his room every now and then. Besides, we got the Thanksgiving dinner tonight. Oh, that's right. In almost the end of November. Well, it's always weird for me to hear because I'm Canadian, so we have Thanksgiving in October. And you Americans have it in November. And come to think of it, this is like a fantasy world. And they have... They have Thanksgiving? I, I guess they do. Huh. I don't really think about that. I mean, you could say the same about Halloween and Christmas, I guess. It feels like we just had the Halloween party yesterday. The kitchen murder, red blood, or red blood soup. That was quite the party, huh? And he ran away, because he caused it. Is he embarrassed? Giggle. Mr. Snail has always given me the, the impression of a tough and sensible dude. I want to see what some of these other characters look like. It's driving me nuts. I gotta see. It's nice to see this unexpected side of him. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. It's cleaning time. Uh, circus? There's the monkey. Let's examine. Finish cleaning. Oh, she's so happy to clean. Good morning, Mr. Monkey. Smile. Uh huh? What are you looking at? It's one of my old photos. Oh, okay. <laughs> that this is you? Yeah. That's awesome. Blush. Thanks. Especially this part. It's so perfectly shaped. Right, I trained very hard to get there. Golden and intricate design. Oh, she's talking about the mirror. Right, they're golden and intricate abs. Wait. Are you talking about the photo frame? Yes. <laughs> Did I do something wrong, Mr. Monkey? Oh, not at all. The snail's not the route. I've talked to him. Oops, my bad. What am I doing? Uh, stage? Examine the area. Okay, nothing there. Talk. Prince Charming, huh? Ah, uh, working hard, or worrying incessantly as usual. Brother, I just don't understand. Why did they give this role to me? I'm anything but charming. You don't usually care for anything I say, but does it really matter? The point of acting is to become someone you ain't. When you're on stage, you can be anything you want. I think it's good to experience that at least once. But just relax, yeah? Kalina is with you. Do your best, for her sake, too. That's right. I'm right behind you, Mr. Cat. Um, alright, let's go to boys' room. Oh, wait, no, I want to get more talking on. Let's let's talk to someone instead of examining. Phew! Oh, what a nice smell. Is it turkey? Nod. Turkey is the standard main course for every Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. You guys are animals, though, but you eat the meat like that. I thought they weren't cannibals. I can't wait. I really love your cooking. Thank you. If only I didn't have this bad feeling encompassing me. You know, like something terrible is about to happen. Something terrible? I hope it's just my imagination. End of free time. Oh boy, something terrible is going to happen in there. Just when all of us were expecting another party. What? What do you mean there's no turkey? What kind of Thanksgiving dinner is this? 
But Mr. Sheep was making one earlier. Don't look at me. It's already inside a certain person's stomach. My apologies, everyone. To think I have let my hunger consume me. I am ashamed of myself. So I was right. Something terrible did happen. Instead of a turkey, we go cold turkey. Oh, come on, that's the same word. Not funny, Din. It's yet another party without dinner. I am regretful. There's still plenty of time, yeah? Let's get another one from the market. Great idea. Let's go. Or, I'll go. It's already so late. It's dangerous to go alone. Don't worry, I'll be fine. But, if you are that worried, you might as well accompany her, Cad. H huh? But, but I'm not in my human form. Kleena, go ahead and make him transform. You give him that hug. Alrighty. W w wait That's all I happened. Sorry I had to do that. It's fine. It's not like I I could disobey it's not like we could disobey Big Brother. Um why are you holding my hand? It's dangerous at night. It's not because I'm scared or anything. Giggle. Hey, ain't that Cad? Oh, it's Broccoli Boy. What's up, man? Good evening, Master. Master? Master is master. People with afros are the true master. Don't you think so? I, I guess. So what you doing here at night? Dating? W what are you talking about? I'm here to protect Kleena. Protect her? You sure it's not the other way around? You look more like the dude in distress. Good evening, Mr. Broccoli. <laughs> we came here to get some turkey. Oh, you're in luck. We still have some left. Thank you, Mr. Broccoli. Have fun with your date. It's it's not a date. Oh, that's what he says. And we got a turkey. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you for accompanying me, Cad. Um, you can let go of my hand now. Kleena. I've been thinking all day. Brother is right. I'm not doing this alone. You're with me. Your presence has always encouraged me. Honestly, I'm still afraid of many things, and I just don't have confidence in myself. Even so, I don't want to disappoint you. This performance, I'll do my best too. Cad, that's why I want to thank you. It's because of you that I can finally move forward. No, I should be the one to say that. It's because of you that I can experience many things in life. I'm really grateful. No, I'm more thankful. Do you know how much you helped me ever since you came? No, I'm more thankful. Do you know how great it is to have a place to call home? Um, why are we fighting over who's more thankful? Well, it's Thanksgiving. Ha ha ha, we burst into laughter seconds later. That's right. It's this side of him that I can't help but adore. The tiny courage that can move your heart. There's a snail. See? Those two are getting along just fine. I think this whole performance thing is redundant. Ha, don't let Din hear that. Dude, he always comes up with useless ideas. Necessary or not, I think it's fun, yeah? I'm looking forward to seeing those two on stage. I'm looking forward to see those two on stage. I'm looking forward to seeing those two on stage. I'm looking forward to see those... Is that correct? Is seeing more correct there? I, The word, just having the C feels weird. I don't know, I'm not trying to nitpick. I'm just bothered by that. Anyways. Dot, 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 dot. And we hear the chambers of Mommy. So, has the cast been decided? Yeah. It took me a while, but I'm finally done. Let's see. Kleena is Cinderella. Cat is Prince Charming. Di and Din as <laughs> as two evil stepsisters. Di is the sheep, Din is the rabbit. Right, right. Uh, keep getting those confused. Kid and Naveed as the king and the grand duke. Archer and, Giord <laughs> and Giordano as two mice. And Delos as the fairy godmother. Fairy godmother, huh? Sounds like fun. By the way, when can we get a route for Delos here? Look look at how fancy he is with that hat and glasses. 
Last but not least, land as a horse. Perfect, isn't it? I see, I see. Huh? Wait a second. What about the evil stepmother? Don't tell me I'm the one. Well, we ran out of people, so... Din? Yes? Looks like I have yet to let you know what an evil mom I can be. Oh dear. Dear Father, Mother in Heaven, are you watching me? If you are, I want to want to let you know I'm surrounded by many wonderful people. Aww. Aww, thank you. Aww, everything is so wholesome in this game. It's white overnight. We got Christmas. It's Christmas time, Jingle Bells. Whoa, amazing. There's so much snow. It's really a white Christmas. By the way, I don't know if you guys could obviously tell this by now, but I actually have the volume for this game, uh, the, the volume for the upload quite low because this game seems to use a lot of, uh, not royalty free, but commonly available licensed music. So it, it, it's, that's the type of thing where it's cheap to get for your game, but it also really hits like all of the YouTube copyright filters. So I have to keep the volume a bit low. Otherwise I'll get hit with so many copyright claims. Like, we're getting, we're getting, uh, licensed jingle bells right there, as you can see. I've been practicing with Cat ever since that day. In fact, it was just yesterday when we... When we what? When we what? Would you like to dance with me? Yes, Cad. Huh? Quack. Oh, it should be your highness. Next time you call him Cad, you will have to forfeit your dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's here from her own free will. That's, that's, that's a totally great way to get people to act, right? I'm sorry. Mr. Owl, despite all his wisdom, quickly turns into a beast when directing the play. I'm starting to see why everyone fears him. Don't worry, we just, we, we just need more practice. You're doing a lot better than me, Cad. If you mess up your lines again, you don't get to eat dinner tonight. That's really what he just told her. I keep messing up the lines. It only works now when there's no audience. It'll most likely fare worse with the real thing. Don't worry. Like you said, we just need more practice. Nod. Huh? He turned into a kitty cat. Yeah, looks like time is up. Tomorrow is Christmas. We'll be having a party tomorrow. Both of you have a good rest. It's difficult, and we get into lots of trouble, but... It feels great to learn something new every day. Oh, look at the little, 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 hang on, let me hide it. Look at the little snowmen in the background, it's so cute. Everything is so cute. Finally, a break. What are you gonna do, Mr. Cat? I have to help Di and Din decorate the Christmas tree. Still busy as ever, huh? I'm not going to lose. Alrighty, time to get cracking. All right, it's time to clean. Kitchen. Examine. Finish cleaning. There's not... Okay, I didn't get anything out of that. So talk to Pig. Pigu! Um, no entry. No entry? Nod. No entry. No entry! Nod, nod. Whoa! He is so freaking cool. He summons blue fire. He's a shiny pig. No entry. So impossibly cool. It makes my blood boil. I mean, what a bummer. Okay, so, yeah, all right. Uh, boys room. Oh, the elephant's here. Let's examine. I got a puzzle piece. Hopefully, I, I swear to God, if I get to the end of this game, and it's like, oh, you didn't have all the puzzle pieces, so uh, that means you did get the true ending. I'm gonna slap somebody. Probably nobody, because that would be an immature overreaction to something stupid. But I'll say I will, and it will, and it will mean something to somebody. Talk to Elephant. Good morning, Mr. Elephant. You know, I just realized something. When you hit hide on the thing, it makes him look a lot taller than he really is, because look, look where they put his legs. Good morning, Mr. Elephant. Good morning, my lady. You often stay inside lately. Is it because of the weather? Winter is wonderful, my lady. The beautiful white snow always reminds me of delicious shaved ice. Doesn't it? 
Shaved ice is the best. Indeed, my lady. Many lo love to have them during the summer. I, on the other hand, crave for them the most during winter. Nod, nod. So why do you stay inside lately? Well, this is my penalty for ruining the Thanksgiving dinner. I may not leave the room during my free time. I am also tragically barred from entering the sacred land known as the kitchen. How tragic! It cannot be helped. It was my fault, so I wholeheartedly accept my punishment. Brace yourself, Mr. Elephant. Alrighty. Well, at least he, he owns up to it. It's weird, like, he talks like one of those, like, m'lady nice guys, but at the same time, he has enough human left inside him. The elephant is the, is the neckbeard. The human is the person inside him. Do a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde little situation. That's what's wrong. That's what's up with Naveed. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, maybe I'm reading too far into it. That's more than likely. Let's examine the area. Actually, hang on. Uh, go elsewhere. I have one left. So let's talk. Talk to Lion. Hey, Kleena. Look at all this snow. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's really beautiful. No, I don't mean that. It's perfect for a snow fight, don't you think? Oh, are we doing one? Of course. Let's go for it when there are more people around. Sounds like a plan. End of free time. All right, we're doing this. We're going to celebrate Christmas. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Merry Christmas. Will you... I'm tired. All that work just makes me feel wired. I almost read that as weird, and I had would have had no good excuse if I did that. I'm just glad we made it on time. That was close, wasn't it? Oh, what a glorious Christmas tree. Not bad. These decorations. They are cookies, right? It's been a while since I left the room. Someone must stop him before he devours the tree. No entry. <laughs> the pig is ready to throw down. I... I must persevere. Pat Pat. That pig is so cool. Great job, everyone. Where's the pig's route? I want more than anything. I think I just want to do the pig's route. That would, I feel like it may take years, but it will be amazing. It would just be amazing. We all know it. Oh, good job, everyone. Y'all worked very hard this year. Mom has prepared special presents for each of you. Stop. Save the boring speeches for next time, big bro. Oh? What do you suggest we do? There are, lot, there are lots and lots of snow. We're like, there is lots and lots of snow? I don't know if that's also... Whatever, I don't care. What else do you think we should be doing? Shaved ice? Of course, there's gotta be a snow fight. Oh, I've been waiting for this. A snow fight? Hold your horses. I have a bad feeling about this. It's too late to stop this. He's gonna throw a snowball. Oh! <laughs> Is that really a Persona reference? Oh, that's great. That's great. I was not. I was caught off guard by that. Hidden killer technique. Return of the king. That's nice. Beautiful. Almost as beautiful as that JPEG. Snowball.jpeg. Snowball ha ha ha. Good job, kid. Now you've done it, bunny. Nothing can stop this bloodbath until you taste my wrath. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna... Oh! <laughs> Hidden killer technique. Poltergeist report. This is amazing. Ha <laughs> ha. There you have it, Bunny. You think you can stop me? Come. Do your worst. Oh, here it comes. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. Hidden killer technique. Rainbow shell. Ooh. Wow. What a fierce battle. Makes my blood boil. Alrighty. Here she goes. Here she <laughs> goes. Oh, this is amazing. Hidden killer technique. Animal complex. Just run over and hug, hug them. No! Mr. Cat! I'm sorry. Achievement animal complex. Well, I got an achievement for it. I didn't mean to. 
Ha, huh. this is great. I ain't gonna lose, huh? Oh no. You got yeeted out of existence. Ouch. That hurts. Huh? What happened? Was that? No way. The Christmas tree. Oh, that was where the Christmas tree was. Our hard work destroyed in an instant. Our pres Christmas presents. The cookies. Oh. Whoops. Was it my fault? Ha, <laughs> my bad. Smack. That is enough! The party is over! Everyone go back to your rooms. Uh oh. Um. We screwed up again, didn't we? This is like the third botched up party in a row. Sorry. My siblings are a riot. No, I had lots of fun, too. It's a shame that all the presents were damaged. Well, I know this isn't much, but you can have it. It's a it's a cat card. Merry Christmas. This is... It's a cat coupon. You can use it to ask me to do anything for you. He hands it to her, and then he, he winks, and he walks off. <laughs> yeah. Anything you say? Okay. Of course, it has to be something I can do. Within reason. Wh wh why are you crying? This is the first time someone has ever given me a present. Aww. I'm so happy. Mr. Cat. Thank you so much. You are the best. Blush. I'm glad you like it. Um, is it okay to use it? Huh? Right now? Um... Why are you coming closer? Don't tell me. You see, I really love cats. And I've always wanted to do this. Can I? Wait a second. Grab for a hug. Can you feel it, Archer? Love is in the air. Nod. Love. <sighs> L-O-V-E. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. They were hugging you, degenerates. This is an E-rated all-ages game. I don't want to hear no more people being like, Christian, why are you playing a porn game? <laughs> Ugh. Y'all are, y'all, some of y'all are gross. What? All the presents were destroyed? My apologies. It was my mistake to let that happen under my nose. I should have predicted this would happen when Kid proposed the snow fight. He gets carried away when he gets too excited. In any case, it's Christmas, so please go easy on them. Oh, I'm not mad. Those presents were for them in the first place. They could toss them to the moon for all I care. Uh, that being said, how are Cad and Kleena? Rest assured, things are going swimmingly well. Those two are quite inseparable nowadays. Oh, really? Isn't that wonderful news? If we are talking about their relationship, then yes. However, if we are talking about their performance, it's beyond dreadful. <laughs> the special performance is our most important source of income. Are we going to be all right? I shall do my best. A hellish training or something equivalent is on the way. Oh my, I don't like that look on his face when he says that. It's Christmas. Go easy on them. Of course. It will not be today. The hell training shall commence once the holiday season is over. Dreams. Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. I want to be the one to make it happen. But, uh, but at what price? But at what price indeed? Yay! Before I realized, it's already the new year. Happy New Year. Happy 2020, everybody. Very timely. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Please take care of me this year, too. Nod. It's rare to have a break. We should use this opportunity to rest. Actually... Mr. Pig! What are you doing here? Simple and clean. 
I forgot to tell you we're having spring cleaning today. Everyone has to help clean the entire circus. Oh, really? How about us? Are we doing it too? Yeah. It's not much different from our usual work. We just have to do it more thoroughly. I see. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. Okay, so let's try going... Oh, there's three of them there. Let's examine first. Gotta get them... Oh, no puzzle piece. Huh? What are you guys doing? Hey, Kleena. We're burning the garbage we just collected. Garbage, huh? More than half of them are actually the destroyed Christmas presents. Oh, really? What a waste. I have attempted to fix some of them. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do to salvage the cookies. Ha, my bad. Look at the bright side. Burn the garbage. At least we got this nice bonfire as a result. It's nice and warm, yeah? Too positive. Way too positive. This is indeed positively nice and warm. We should not let it go to waste. How about baking something on the top of it? Ha, hungry already? Dude, you never get tired of talking about food, do you? It's a wonder how you've never gained weight. I exercise regularly. Nah, it's your tummy. It burns things faster than the fire here, yeah? Ha, huh. sounds about right. Hmm? Three of you get along really well. Well, everyone calls us Team Extrovert. We're the polar opposite of Team Introvert. Indeed, my lady. Kid, Land, and I are the most... most extroverted of the siblings. We enjoy social interactions and parties, so we get along very well. It's awesome, yeah? Lovers of parties, huh? Wouldn't party destroyers be more appropriate? Alright, go elsewhere. Let's try the stage. Examine the area. Let's sweep! Got a piece of... Wait. Found a puzzle piece. And complete all three human puzzles to unlock side story. Oh. Is that my first time? Yeah, it's my first time finding a... Or, yeah, I guess I found one earlier. I didn't realize that. Okay. Team Introvert, which is probably... Ca uh, Cad, Die, and that's probably Din. Okay, talk to Cad. How you doing, Cad? I'm worried. You know, with how my brothers are, they might end up messing things up rather than helping. I totally get where you're coming from, especially if we consider their previous offenses. I'm going to check everyone's work later. I don't think I can rest well until I make sure everything is fine. So, Kleena, will you come with me? Of course. Let's do it together. Okay. What about the kitchen? Or how much do I... One. Alright, let's talk. Howdy, Kleena. How you doing? I'm doing fine, Mr. Owl. Good. Um, may I ask a question? Yes. Why are we cleaning at this time? It's not yet spring. We will become very busy during spring. It's the season where people from all over the world come to watch our performance. It's best to do it now rather than later. But it's difficult to clean with this much snow. That is exactly the point. Pardon? There is something... There is definitely something behind that affable smile, isn't there? <laughs> okay. End of free time. Free time is happy time, isn't it? Okay, um... Let me make a quick save. January. It said, like, I had a year. Or, rather, Kleena has a year to get to, to marry Cat or whatever. When did it start? What was it? June or July? It was June or July. It, ha it had to have been. And then... Yay! It's about time. Kleena? Yes? I'm going to check everyone's work. You're coming with me, right? Of course. Let's go. Not. Wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. No garbage, no dust. Sparkling clean and perfectly organized. Excellent job. I expect no less from you two. The monkey and pig duo did it again. Sparkle. Amazing. You really trust them, don't you? Of course. All right. Let's move on to the next room. Absolutely perfect. Hmm. It looks really clean. I don't see any problems in here. Of course. Do you have any problem, Cad? No, not at all. 
Good. Are you sure it's okay? It's not like I can do anything about it. This is Big Brother, after all. He's the most meticulous and calculating of us all. He was the one who suggested the spring cleaning. He was also the one who got to assign which room we had to clean. Knowing him, he most likely chose the kitchen because Dai always keeps it clean to begin with. Not to mention the area is the smallest and he doesn't have to worry about the snow. Basically, the less work for him, the better. That's rather convincing for some reason. Ha 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 ha, yes? You still have more rooms to check, don't you? Uh, of course. Let's go, Kleena. That's Mr. Owl, all right. Some stuff is better left unsaid when it comes to him. Don't mess with Mr. Owl. How is it? Are they cooked yet? We are getting there. Patience is a virtue. It ain't per it ain't persuasive coming from you of all people. Wh what? What are you guys doing? Want some baked sweet potatoes, my dear little bro? Y you, you guys are supposed to be cleaning this area. Right, that's what we do. I mean, did. That was till a certain someone decided to bake sweet potatoes above the burning garbage. It is terrible to let all this heat go to waste. If it is it... It is not environmentally friendly. Dude, don't burn the garbage then. Oh, now let's not worry too much, yeah? Cad, are you okay? I knew it. I can never trust those three. Well, they are party destroyers. I mean, team extrovert. It's unfortunate, but while we... But we will have to clean this on our own. I don't mind, but how about me? You trust my cleaning skills? Huh? Of course. I know you're good at it. You just are. It's not like I always pay attention to your cleaning. Giggle. Thank you, Cad. I feel more confident now. I wonder if it has to do with my hidden talent. Hidden talent? Hey, that's news to me. What is it? What is it? To think you have something up your sleeve. Not bad, girl. Amazing, my lady. It's really nothing special. I just happen to have 100% accuracy when it comes to throwing rubbish into garbage cans. Really? Alrighty. Oh, there she goes again. Hidden killer technique. Clean and clear. Whoa. It landed right in the garbage can. That is amazing, my lady. You really can't judge a book by its cover. With that much skill, why not go for the Olympics? You might give some athletes a run for their money. This ability only works on garbage, though. Is that what you call a useful, useless, useful ability? Ah, still useful for cleaning, yeah? Amazing, my lady. Okay, that's enough. Leave us alone if you guys aren't gonna help. At least wait till the sweet potatoes are cooked. No! We still have a lot to do. Let's clean this place, Kleena. Alrighty. Dot to dot, dot to dot, dot to dot, dot 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 to dot to dot dot dot. Phew! We are finally done with that mess. I feel like I'm going to go bald if I keep this up. Cad, Kleena! How did it go? Well, we managed somehow. At the very least, it doesn't seem like we have much to do here. I did my best. It's nice to have our home clean. Speaking of which, why do we always stay in the same place when we live inside the caravans? Well, we used to move all the time. That's right. With our body condition, we can't go to school or work like normal people. We don't want anyone to discover our secrets. That why that's why we don't stay in place for t stay in one place for too long. Ugh. That's really sad. Don't worry. Things have changed for the better ever since we came to this town. We would love to stay here for as long as we can. I'm glad to hear that. This is indeed a very nice town. Everyone is so nice and friendly. And it generates us the most cash. That can't be the real reason, right? Or is it? Dot to dot, dot to dot, dot to dot, dot to dot, dot dot. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. That is what you call them, right? All right. Next is our rooms. Nod. Huh? Mr. Rabbit? I can't make it. I'm dying. What happened, Mr. Rabbit? Did Mr. Snail run you over? 
I don't know any slimes. This is too much work for me. I'm amazed how you can you two can withstand cleaning every day. Doesn't it get tiring at some point? Cleaning is fun. Well, I mean, personally, I've warmed up to cleaning more a little a little more recently. I've been trying to keep my place in a, in a better sh in better shape and stop putting off, you know, letting small stuff pile up. Cleaning can be fun. You just gotta put yourself in the mindset and get it done. And you feel pretty good after you do it. Good for you. We should have just left everything in your hands. Well, there's not nothing much we can do. Big Brother's order is absolute. Kill me now, bunny. Finally, we are done. It's already so late. Yeah, let's take a rest. Nod. Phew. It has been a very long day. I feel like the fatigue has finally caught up now and I can relax a little. Yeah. Kleena? Thank you. I can't do this on my own. I'm grateful to have you by my side. Smile. I'm happy to help. Aw. As exhausted as I am, there's this wonderful sensation dwelling in me. What's this feeling, I wonder? Comfort? Happiness? Satisfaction? Without knowing what it is, I close my eyes. But I know that tonight, I'll have a sweet dream. Hey guys, are you done yet? We just finished baking the delicious, delicious sweet potatoes. Would the two of you like some... Hold on, Naveed. Those two are... Aww. Aww, that's so cute. Let's hit hide. Get a good, good clean shot of that for like the thumbnail or something. I'll either use this or that thing from earlier and throw the throw like the persona eyes on it. That might look a little too clunky. <laughs> Aha, how cute. Let's leave some here. They can have them when they wake up. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for your hard work. And I ruined the moment by sneezing. Beautiful. Oh, good work. Everything looks sparkling clean. Hmm, Delos, what are you? <laughs> perfect, this is perfect. Everything went according to plan. This is just the beginning. The real hell starts now. Sweet dreams, everyone. Now the mom is scared of Delos. I know that tonight. I'll have a sweet dream. Sweet, sweet dream. I think. She thinks. Maybe. All right, I'll tell you what. I got time for like, I'll do one more month. I'll do one more month for this episode. Love is in the air. I'm gonna be streaming the next two days anyway, so I might not have time to do, to record another one of these. Depends on if I've got the time after. Yes, February. In other words, it's the month of love. Oh yes, we have to go to Valentine's Day. The month where people express their love for each other. At the very least, that's how it's supposed to be. We gotta see Valentine's Day. Da, 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 da. I think maybe if I do February, let's see, there's March, April, May. I, I could yeah, I could probably just finish finish this entire route with one more episode. And then um and then the one after that, I can do the sh I can start the sheep's route. We do that too, and and yeah, like I said, the rabbit's route is coming out sometime this year. I don't have an exact date, but I can always come back to the game. Always come back to the game when it comes out. You'll just see it surprise in your inbox, sub box. Ow! Don't smack. Too slow. The audience will not wait for you to recall your lines. Try again. Y yes. Clear throat. I must go. Thank you for the dance. Please stay. What is your name? Um, <laughs> what kind of acting is that? I don't like the way this owl handles anything. You need to put more emotion in that line. Try again. Y yes. The Spartan training has begun. All of us receive a daily allotment of wallops from Mr. Owl without mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you kids, you better give a hoot, or you're gonna get a hoot across the face. Ugh, 
I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna die. He is tired to the point that he cannot utter the word bunny anymore. Help me. <laughs> Bread or whatever. Anything is fine. The Grand Duke is starving. Sorry, we ran out of bread. Aha, then let them eat cake. You're an awful king, kid. <laughs> awful indeed. It's just like this stupid stri script. Who wrote this crap? You. We should have used the original version of Cinderella. It's more fun that way. There is such a thing. The truth is, one of the two evil stepsisters cuts off her toes and the other her heel so they can both fit into the tiny glass slipper. What kind of version is that? Are you, are we sure that the Prince Charming wasn't Jigsaw in that version? I didn't hear anything. That story is great. Let's use that one instead. Pardon me. Which of us will play? Which of us will play the, as the two evil stepsisters? Ooh. On second thought, the script I wrote is better. Cough. I see. All of you still have time for small talk. It looks like I have not given enough love. After all, it's, Feb it's February. The month of love. Please let me love you all more than usual. <laughs> you are all being loved, he says as he punches them across the face. This is just another day in D-Circus. Dot, 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 dot. Ouch. My whole body is sore. Mr. Owl has been pretty gung-ho lately, hasn't he? I don't know how long I'll last at this rate. How about you, Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat? Oh. Poke. Huh? Mr. Monkey? Hey, don't worry. I understand. Mr. Cat must have been really tired. I won't wake him up. You want me to rest too? I would love to, but I can't. You see, it's almost Valentine's. I plan to make a chocolate cake for Mr. Cat. It's a little token of my appreciation for the Christmas gift he gave me. Pat Pat. Thank you, Mr. Monkey. You're always so encouraging. I'll do my best. Ah, uh, yes, the Christmas present she got that I'm sure is going to make all the 13-year-olds in the YouTube comments go go crazy. Dot, 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 dot. Well, although I said that... I've never actually made a chocolate cake before. Oh no! We've got an anime girl that doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> this, the month, the Valentine's Day is gonna turn into a mass murder, isn't it? Not to mention, I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of chocolate Mr. Cat likes. Why do you keep calling him Mr. Cat? It feels weird how she keeps calling them like, Mr. Animal. Instead of their actual names. Like, at the more, it's been more than half a year. She should be really familiar with them at this point. Hmm. It's probably best if I ask around. Who knows, I might get a hint or two. Alrighty. Let's take a get cracking. Hint, hint. Talk to elephant. Chomp. 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 Yes, my lady. Oh, this? I'm trying my hardest to compensate for our daily training. After all, work hard, eat harder. Wait, what? <laughs> Is the true principle of life, do you think not? How deep? Indeed. Would you like to have some as well, my lady? I would love to, but before that, can you tell me what, what is Mr. Cat's favorite kind of chocolate? Chocolate? Oh, is it for Valentine's Day? Nod. I love all kinds of chocolate, but... Be it almond, milk, white, orange, dark, extra dark, or mint, chocolates are the best. Indeed, they are. So, Mr. Cat's favorite kind of chocolate is... My apologies, my lady. It is beyond my knowledge. You don't know. All right. Um, choice 82, choice 80, boys' room. First, let's do a little cleaning. Ah, nothing. Huh? Cad's favorite food? And why are you in your human form today? Nod. Knowing it might help figure out what kind of chocolate he likes. Hmm. And I'm not too sure. Do you have any clue, Din? What are you talking about? Didn't we discuss this not too long ago? Favorite food? Yeah, mine is banana milk, Bunny. What about you, Bunny? If I have to choose, that would be 
Anin tofu? Anin tofu? I've never heard that before. You see, it has a very nice rectangular cuboid shape. It would be perfect if it's a cube. So basically, it has absolutely nothing to do with the taste, bunny. What about dye, bunny? What's your favorite food, bunny? Eggplants are the best. Did you know that if the first New Year's dream you have is an eggplant, you will achieve something great? So basically, it has absolutely nothing to do with the taste yet again, bunny. Right. We did talk about that before. Seriously. Cat and his OCPD. You and your obsession with good luck. Um, what's OCPD? Orang orangutan- Orangutans, cats, pandas, and dogs. <laughs> you and your animal complex. Main room. Oh, let's talk to mommy. Oh, dear daughter-in-law. How are you doing? I'm currently in the middle of a mission. A mission? It's for the sake of love. Haha. <laughs> How wonderful. Do your best. Yes, I will. Mr. Monkey has given me his blessing. Giornon, the. G. G. Giord. I don't know how to say that at all! Not at all! Nod. Mr. Monkey is always so courteous and encouraging. He's such a great role model. Kleena? By any chance you. Huh? Never mind. Hmm. She. is something about the monkey. I'm telling you, the monkey is the dad. Well, I'll be a monkey's. Daughter-in-law. That's where I'm going with that. Got one more. Let's talk to talk to Cat. Ask him directly. Why not? Rest well, Mr. Cat. All right, he was sleeping. That didn't work. Circus. Talk to Owl, Pig, and Monkey. Good morning, everybody. Howdy, Kleena. Groovy. Now, how can we help you today? Um, can I ask ask a question? Yes. Do you know if Mr. Cat likes chocolate? Hmm. Archer, do you know? Negative. How about you, Mr. G-Word? It's unfortunate, but none of us seem to know. However, I believe he would be happy to receive anything from you. After all, it's the thought that counts. You think so? Thank you, Mr. Owl. I'll do my best. Good. Um, do you have any more questions? It's not really a question, but it's. Ju I just thought it's unusual seeing the three of you together. Oh, how so? Well, I can't quite explain it. The three of you feel so different from the rest. Indeed. We are known as Team Mystery. The origin of that name is a mystery itself. It could be because we were special even among our siblings. Or it could be because none of us quite fit in Team Introvert or Team Extrovert. In other words, we are the leftovers, so everyone lumps us together. It's actually rather fitting. You can't find anyone more mysterious than these three. Well, if that means eventually the monkeys plan to be a route, then the monkey can't be the father. At least that would make for a very weird route. Or should I say, Team Dangerous. End of free time. As Valentine's Day draws, draws closer. No! I spent too much time thinking what to make! I'm not going to make it at this rate. And I still have no idea what kind of chocolate I should make. What should I do? Um... I better make a save, just in case. Um... Ask getting Kleena to do it herself? Ugh, that won't help anyone. Ask for help. That's right. I know the limitations of my own skill. There's no shame in asking asking for help. That's exactly what I was thinking. Word for word. Who we got here? Valentine's Day, huh? I hope it goes well for Kleena. How's her cooking skill, Bunny? I have no idea. I have never seen her cook before. That's grim, Bunny. Um... Oh, Kalina, is something the matter? I wanted to make chocolate cake for Mr. Cat, but I'm not sure if I can make a good one on my own. Can you help me? Of course, we will help you. Right, Din? 
That's right, Bunny. You're lucky this isn't your average romance, Bunny. If it were, we brothers would have been competing with Cad instead of playing Cupid's, Bunny. Is that how it's supposed to be? Who knows, Bunny? Maybe in some alternate dimensions, Bunny. <laughs> oh, meta jokes, huh? So let's... Alrighty. Let's do this. First, the ingredients. Uh, why is there barely anything left? We don't have much stock left. Didn't you go to the market just a few days ago, Bunny? It was probably Mr. Elephant's. Right. Why am I not surprised? We'd better go to the market. We don't have much time left. No pain, no gain. You want to make it on time? You better start running, Bunny. Dot, 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 dot. Dots are your friends, like Broccoli Man. What's up, man? Can we have some cocoa powder, e e eggs, flour, and milk? Sure. How about some fruits for decorations, Bunny? That is a great idea. Let's go with that. Is there anything else you would like to get, Kleena? Hmm. How about some almonds? Why almonds? Cad likes uh, an and tofu, right? I remember they are also known as almond jelly. So I was thinking of making an almond flavor chocolate cake. What do you think? That is truly amazing. You are so knowledgeable in food, Kleena. Blush. So was that all? Yeah. Once we get all the ingredients, we return to the kitchen. Thankfully, I managed to finish the cake on time with help from Dai and Din. Dot, 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 dot. And then... And then what? What happened? Don't... Don't leave me in suspense. Huh? This is for me? Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, it's a little happy kitty cake. Whoa, this is amazing. Did you make this? Nod. I couldn't have made it without Mr. Sheep and Mr. Rabbit's help. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Wait, the snail said that? We just helped a little. Right, Din? She put a lot of effort into it, Bunny. You better appreciate it, Bunny. Yes, I will. I'll treasure this for the rest of my life. No, really. Eat it. <laughs> Indeed. I will not allow anyone to waste food. Give it a try. Fine. How is it? No, no way. This is... This is the best cake I have ever eaten in my life. Really? Is it that good? Hands off, Naveed. She, this is made specially for Cad. This is so amazing. You even put almonds in it. How did you know I like them? It pays to it pays to ask around. Thank you, Kleena. I'm really happy. Aww. You're welcome. Mr. Al is right. It's the thought that counts. It might not be perfect, but it's all worth it as long as I could see his smile. Aww. Dot 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 dot. Is that it for for good old February? How is everyone doing? The hell training is proceeding as planned. The season is changing. Don't overdo it, all right? Of course, Mom. Yes? Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Delos. That is very sweet of you. Hmm. The chocolate you made is still as bitter as ever. <laughs> of course! Speaking of which... It seems that Kleena has mistaken Giornano as one of you. As smart as he is, he's just an ordinary monkey. <laughs> that is why she is cute. Monkey wrench. Monkey wrench into your plans, haha. Uh -huh. It is the month in this month of love. We share happiness with our loved ones. It may contain some bitterness, but even so, I hope you can still feel it. The sweetness that dwells within. How adorable that Delos gave his mommy some chocolates. Oh, that's cute. Spring is coming. All right, though. Like I said, it was only going to do one more month. Looks like we're coming up to one more thing. One more session, rather. So I'm going to go ahead and save it there. All right. So this is fun to keep going into it. 
I definitely am having a fun time with this. I Originally, I intended, when I played the demo, which was part one, I kind of just thought this was going to be like a random one-off and probably just put it in like the, the mystery box or something. But no, this is fun to do. I'm having fun. Lot, lots of people really enjoy this, surprisingly, too. So hope you're all still having fun. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Have a good night. Bye-bye.